Very good evening my friends, how are you? Hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new weekly market analysis video from Extreme Trader. This is Salah speaking. So just a kind reminder that tomorrow Monday most of the banks are on holiday due to the Easter and on this occasion I wish all my Christian friends and family here a happy Easter and I just wanted to remind you that the market will be either inactive or actually not working at all. We can notice that only the UST pair and the GPY will be active. So tomorrow is not going to be good for trading. That is, I think, if the market is going to be open. I'm not 100% sure if the market is going to be open. However, let's go to the analysis right now and let's see what are the opportunities that's waiting for us in this market. So I have already prepared for you the buy and take profit levels for the Euro USD. We can notice on the 4 hour chart that the Euro USD has finally made the breakout here from this resistance as we can see and this bullish engulfing, engulfing candle indicating that the market right now is going to continue the rise and this support level right here most likely is going to keep its position as a support. Therefore, we can expect that the trend is going to continue the growth. Actually, if we draw the trend lines, we can see that the pair most likely is going to continue in this channel and not only that but we can notice also right here if I draw this trend line here like that we can notice that the trend this resistance trend line has been finally breaking out from this resistance trend line and right now the pair is gonna be going in the retest for the level so we can start buying the pair after the retest however I had to place the buy order right here only because we can see that we are having a strong support level right here. So for the Euro USD, let me get rid of all of that. For the Euro USD, if you place your your buy order, the market might go might go against you for almost between 17 to 20 pips only and that's all if I'm not mistaken and from that point the, uh, the Euro USD is gonna continue the rise and we can start buying the pair all the way until only hitting this previous resistance. Again, we are going to stick to the short uh, term signals this week due to the unstable situation of the market due to the COVID-19 situation all over the globe. Therefore, we can keep the trade running all the way only until this resistance. So we can look for almost 164 pips of profit. Hopefully, we are going to get them all. Let's now go to the pound USD. So on the pound USD, if we go to the daily candles, we can notice that the pair is right now on the resistance level. However, that is not not me that doesn't mean that the pair is gonna continue the rising right now. It's gonna rise. The pair is gonna go up, but not immediately. We have to wait for the perfect moment to start buying the pound USD. So let's go back to the four hour chart. Sorry, let's go back to the daily again because I want to show you this. On daily candles, we can notice that right here exactly right here we are having this support level along with the support which was by the way a strong resistance as well remember these are daily candles therefore we can see that the pair most likely is going to keep its position as a support right after this uh, bullish and uh, bullish breakout candle from that resistance level right here so going back now to the four hour chart now to, on the four hour chart we can see clearly that there was a trend line here that has been breaking out like that. So we had here a resistance trend line which has been finally breaking out from this uh, broken out from this level and right now the market is gonna go down retesting this level. This support level right here is gonna keep its position as a support and from that point we can start buying the pound USD and we can expect from the pair to continue rising all the way until it hit this previous support level right here. So in other words, we are looking for almost 300 pips of profit. Hopefully we are going to get them all. Uh, I just wanted to remind you to please be careful when you are trading the pound, especially for long terms. Um, let me just show you this again here. Uh, oh, sorry, it was for the CAD. Uh, this BOC news, I thought it was for the pound, sorry. Yeah, it is for the cat pairs. We have to pay attention because this week Wednesday uh, at 6 p.m. Dubai time, uh, f uh, 2 p.m. GMT time, 
there will be high impact news the boc monetary policy report on the cat pair so we have to always pay attention to any trade opened on the cat pairs so this is the signal for the pound usd hopefully it's gonna be accurate and it's gonna respect it uh, now to the AUD USD, we can notice very similar thing. What we are seeing right near, right here, is a resistance trend line, a tiny resistance trend line. But the pair was able how, how to break out from this level, and of course now we can expect the reversal or the pullback. So the pair is gonna actually retest this level. This is gonna be actually a good level to start buying the USD, the AUD USD on 0.62177. Uh, let's go to the daily candles. So let's look at the left if we can find a strong resistance on the very same level. Scrolling back to the left. Wait a second, let me just... Uh, uh, we, there is so many lines that we need to get rid of. Yeah, these two. Alright, so let's see where is the strong support level. As we can see right here, yes. Right here, guys. We can see that we had here a previous strong support level most likely the pair is gonna respect the support level that's why we have to wait for the right moment to start selling uh, sorry to start buying the AUD USD not to mention of course that we are having right here right now here a resistance number one and the pair right now is reversing on the resistance number two so that's why if you want to short the AUD USD right now you can go ahead most likely the AUD USD, as I said, is going to fall down all the way for almost uh, 130 pips. Most likely this is what will going to happen. However, I would highly recommend to wait for the pair to complete the form of retesting the, re the, the broken trend line. And from that point, we can start buying the pair. Um, but if you wish, you can also start shorting the AUD USD. But please be very careful and be very wise about your lot size on this trade uh, the AUD USD is uh, in general gonna rise however that is of course the worst time to start buying the AUD USD in my opinion we just have to wait for the retest uh, to complete its form and we can keep the trade running all the way until it hit the stake profit level on this previous support level so if we start buying the AUD USD here we can expect to get at least 240 pips of profit hopefully we are gonna get them all now for the USD CAD USD CAD is very interesting because as we can see guys what we are having right here is a support level and right here we're also having a previous resistance now these candles this price action indicating a, um, a strength from the sellers the bears are controlling the market we can see actually this price action this candle which usually re uh, referring or actually indicating a bullish reversal now when it fails it means that the sellers are actually pushing the market we can see on daily candles the market has uh, ended uh, with two uh, bearish candles so most likely that this resistance is very strong is gonna keep its position as a resistance and therefore USD CAD seems like it's gonna continue the fall immediately right after the market opens and we can expect from the USD CAD to continue the fall all the way until it hit this previous support level right here so we can expect from the USD CAD to fall for almost 235 pips now let me, let, me, let me just be clear on the left if there was any strong resistance level and indeed as we can see guys that is a strong key resistance level that's why we can expect from the USD CAD to keep its position as a strong resistance not to mention of course as I said all these attempts to break out from the resistance uh, the rejection is strong and even here we can see the same rejection is happening most likely the USD CAD is gonna continue the falling let's go now to the uh usd euro usd we already finished with it okay usd chf let's now check the usd chf usd chf actually let me just uh, write it again i think i mistakenly have deleted it the level uh it's mentioned we need to buy on 0 0.696268 
All right. Nine six two six eight. Almost here. Okay. So that is actually the good level to start buying the UST CHF. Of course, similar to the other setups, if we are drawing the trend line right here, we can see that this previous resistance trend line right after the breakout from this level, we can see that the pair right now is, is falling down to, to complete the form of retesting this broken resistance trend line. So what we can witness here is the reversal from that previous support level then the pair kept falling down made the pullback completing the flag pattern and then right now it's continue the fall most likely the pair is gonna respect this resistance level so this resistance right here is gonna keep its position as a resistance and the pair is gonna continue falling all the way until it hit this previous support level from that point we can start buying the usd chf now of course i have placed my buy order right here just in case to be safe because I, as I said, we are having here a previous resistance and right here, and it was also here a strong support level. So if you place your buy order on the USDCHF on the level 0 0.96268, uh, uh, you can expect from the pair to go against you, not for so much, maybe for about 20 pips only. Let me just make it like a zone, like that. That is more safe and that's more convenient actually because we are having right here a support number one so most likely if the pair if you place your buy order right here please expect from the pair to go a little bit against you just to continue or sort of to complete the form of retesting this broken resistance trend line and from that point we can buy the pair and hopefully it's gonna continue going all the way up until it hit this previous take profit uh, this uh, previous resistance as a take profit level you know something I'm gonna actually change the take profit level and I'm gonna make it at the resistance level like that just to be more safe for the members so we can expect almost a hundred pips of profit so this is gonna be your take profit on 0 0.97248 hopefully the market is gonna be loyal to this analysis and we are gonna get some decent profit out of it uh, to the USD GPY, almost the very same setup as we see here. We are having here a resistance a trend line, which has been also broken out from the mark and the market started reversing on this resistance, which was also a previous support. We can see the complete of the form. The pair has already retested this level. Look at that. Please pay attention, guys, on the four-hour chart for the USD GPY. What we can see here: the breakout from the resistance trend line and then the pair has reversed and right now it fell the way all the, it fell already all the way down to retest this level most likely the pair has passed or ha the, uh, the retest was successful and now the pair is actually gonna be in the rising mode therefore i place the order to start buying right away and if you place the buy order you can expect from the usd gpy to go against you for almost between 20 to 28 pips and that's all then from that point keep your trade running only for 100 let's say almost 110 pips of profit uh, again this week we're sticking to the short signals because i think it's more safe uh, the last week signals was really very successful and most of them hit the tech profit and I am reading the comments on YouTube. Actually, most of the members were very glad and happy for these signals because they were very accurate and on spot. Uh, that's, I think, because we uh, we use this week the short term signals. So that's my analysis for the USD GPY. Uh, let's go right now to the gold. Now, the gold might be a little bit tricky because uh, let's go to the daily candles what we can see right here the gold most likely guys is completing a form of a triple top we need to wait and see what will gonna happen however I believe that if the gold continue rising for a little bit only to hit the highest top of this resistance level we can then start selling the gold on this level of the resistance after selling the gold right here you can keep your trade running all the way and I believe that is gonna be your tech profit level and also we can start buying the pair at this point let me explain the reason 
if we go to the daily candles no four hour charts we can see that we are having right here a resistance trend line as well look at that what we are seeing right here is a resistance trend line this one the resistance trend line has been also breaking out from this level most likely what will gonna happen right now the gold is gonna respect this level as a resistance and that resistance is gonna keep its position as a resistance then the pair is gonna fall down to retest this broken resistance and from that point we can notice on the left that we are having here also a strong support level that support is gonna hold this position as a support and then the pair is gonna reverse from that point and we can start buying the gold from the, the from the level 1654.70 and in case we do that we can keep the trade running all the way until it hit again the same resistance level as where the price is on right now so i believe the market is actually gonna be a little bit slow this week especially monday the market might be not active at all and therefore we are having only four days of trading for the next week so the market might be slow that's why i'm telling you we are having today or this week short signals however i really hope uh, this analysis will be very useful and helpful for everyone to make some decent and good profit and i wish you everyone guys everyone here i wish you guys uh, first of all i wish you happy easter for my christian friends and for everyone else and for everyone <laughs> I, I, I really wish a very good and profitable week and hopefully you will make guys some profits so in the end uh, i hope that was informative to you and i would like to thank you for watching